Hey everyone, this is Collapse and Protect, and today we'll be going over accessories for our HD12 and some modifications that I've made to really make this thing versatile. We're going to take our shotgun from this to this. Let's get started. In regards to compatibility of aftermarket accessories, there really isn't that much out there, but the stuff that does exist is functional and well built. I really like the fixed stock on the HD12. It's sturdy and holds a few extra shells, and that's all I need it to do, so I'm gonna keep that. If you do want to change things up, you can always jump on GeForceArms.com and head over to their parts shop where you can find a 5 position adjustable stock, a pistol grip, and even a standard stock. I got a few questions about the Raptor grip option, and unfortunately I just couldn't find one. With that said, I know it does exist. The Raptor type grip is an option on another shotgun that Emperor Arms sells called the Duke. But again, I couldn't find where you could just buy the grip itself. The only downside to buying the available stocks is that they're pretty pricey, and I can't justify swapping out the perfectly good stock that it comes with. Let's move up to the magazine tube. I tried out four different types of magazine tube extensions, and finally, I found one that works. Say hello to the Choke P3000, P3500, and M3000, M3500 two round tube. This kit costs around 60 bucks and is well worth the money if this is going to be your go-to shotgun. The two round extension fits flush with the end of the barrel and makes the HD12 look mean. There's only one problem though, how do we make it fit? Well, we figured out that the stock magazine tube needs a little love before it'll accept the extension. For this mod, we need a circular metal file and some electrical tape to put on the end of the file. Now let's disassemble our HD12. Pick up the receiver and magazine tube assembly and stick your finger into the end of the magazine tube. Do you feel that ridge on the inside? It's gonna keep this end cap from traveling the full length of the tube when we put our extension on, so we need to get rid of that. From what I could tell, there's no way to separate the magazine tube from the receiver without some serious torque, so this is where our file with the protected tip comes in. So take your file and stick it down the magazine tube and start grinding until that pesky ridge is gone. The electrical tape is going to protect that plastic end cap from getting all torn up. After we've filed that ridge smooth, go ahead and remove the cap. You may have to grab it with some pliers like I did because those metal shavings kept it in place. We're going to clean out our magazine tube and make sure it's lubed up to ensure reliable feeding. Now let's grab our new spring and swap it out. We'll drop our plastic cap back into place and grab our extension. The easiest way to do this part is to put the magazine tube over the end of the spring and compress it while feeding it into the magazine tube with the other hand. Now we can just thread it on and we're ready for action. Now we've increased our capacity from four plus one to a healthy six plus one. And I can tell you that the peace of mind, the extra two rounds gives me is well worth the cost. The last thing we're gonna do is attach a shell carrier to the receiver, but we've got another problem. The pump of our HD12 will interfere with our new shell carrier. So let's fix that. First, let's figure out how much of the pump we wanna cut. I really like how my hand fits on this angled ridge, so we're going to keep that. Let's put some painter's tape along the first set of ridges on the overhanging part of the pump. This is where we're going to cut. I just used a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel, but you can use a hacksaw if you want. Now that we have our pump cut down, we're going to reassemble our HD12 and see exactly where we can attach this shot shell carrier. For the carrier, I just found a random brand off of Amazon. You get two for $12 and they hold five shotgun rounds a piece. They stick to the side of the gun with an adhesive backing. You just gotta be sure to clean the side of the receiver with some isopropyl alcohol so that the shell carrier does adhere properly. Let's go to the range and test our new upgrades. The Chote magazine tube extension works just like it should. Having those extra two shells makes a huge difference and it makes sense because we just increased our magazine capacity by 33%. Our cut down pump doesn't interfere with our shell carrier and this setup gives us the ability to combat load and emergency reload our HD12 with speed and minimal effort. This will probably be my last video on the Emperor Arms HD12 as I think I've covered just about everything now. I can't express how much this shotgun has grown on me. It's earned my trust with its unwavering reliability. It's made me laugh, it's made me cringe, and it's been the subject of about six of my videos. 
I've spent so much time shooting it, modifying it, and researching it that I'll be sad to put it down. But rest easy, the HD12 has earned a spot in my safe. So thank you all for coming along for the ride. I really appreciate all the feedback, the support, and the comments. If you like what I've been doing here on the channel, then consider heading over to my Patreon. I'll have it linked in the description. As always, have fun and be safe.